Mediterranean Buddha bowls. Oh my goodness, these are so good. So these are like the easiest like bowls that you can make. Like it's just a bunch of fresh vegetables. Just grill some chicken and throw it all together. Yeah, it's like the easiest thing. So if you're looking for something easy, these are it with a Mediterranean twist, of course. Yeah, they're healthy, I think. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're super healthy actually. So yeah, that's what we're making today. And we're gonna just dream of Greece the entire time. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jeannie, and this is my husband Vince. I am a travel agent here in Minnesota, so um, we like to make different dishes from around the world that um, we've enjoyed and or we just make them because it puts us back in that moment of being in these destinations. So be sure to subscribe for future videos. I post all things travel, food, um, inspiration, and lifestyle. We are based in Minnesota, so you'll see some Minnesota living too on my channel. So I invite you to subscribe. So yeah, we better get started. Yep. All right, here we have our ingredients for our Greek Gouda bowls. We have one chicken breast that we're gonna show you how we made the marinade later. One lemon, roasted garlic hummus. We have some naan bread here that we like to serve on the side. Uh, tomato, we have some Minnesota local grown rice, but you can use quinoa or white rice or brown rice, whatever you choose to do for your carb. And then we have a cucumber and some bouillon, and then olive oil, and some red wine vinegar, kalamata olives, I believe is how you say it, Greek olives, salt, pepper, oregano, and feta cheese that will crumble, and some baby spinach. So first we're gonna start with our marinade. So we have a lemon. Do a little lemon juice. So now we're gonna throw in some olive oil. We have some red wine vinegar we're gonna put in. And then some oregano. And don't forget a little pepper. And a little salt. Put our chicken breast in, get it kind of drenched. Try to get it as covered as you can. This will marinate for about four or five hours. So first thing we're gonna do is start cooking the rice because it takes about 45 minutes to um, cook off. So we're gonna start by rinsing half cup of rice and strain it. do a cup and a half of water for this and we'll put in a little better than bouillon to enhance the flavor. A little chicken stock. And then we're gonna dissolve bouillon. Now we're gonna mix everything in our saucepan and turn the heat on. Bring it to a boil and then let it simmer for 45 minutes. Now we're going to start getting our vegetables prepared. So we're going to start with our cucumber. Next is the tomato. Now we're going to crumble our feta cheese. I just like to cut it into small pieces. And just take them. And Crumble them. Easy peasy. Then we're gonna just plate our spinach here so we have it all together. Now we're gonna make the dressing for the bowls. So we'll start with olive oil, some red wine vinegar in it. shakes of oregano, a little pepper, and a little salt. And lastly, a lemon. Just 
step into my office here. <laughs> Turn our fuel on. All right, put them on the grill. Move around a little bit. Oh yeah. Yeah. Close it. We're gonna turn it down a little bit. Not a lot, though. We like to keep it nice and hot. Daily reminder from the olive jar. <laughs> All right, we just pulled the chicken off the grill. Now we're gonna slice it up. And I like to let it sit for about five minutes to let the meat kind of settle down and let it cool a little bit. All right, our rice is done cooking. Gonna bring it back over here. Now we're gonna prepare our bowls. To start with the rice. Put in our chicken. Then we're gonna do our cucumber. And our tomatoes. And our spinach. And split our olives in half guys in the middle. Then we're gonna do a little bit of hummus. And then we're gonna drizzle our feta cheese all over it. And if you want to put a little mint in, you certainly can. Take a few sprigs off the plant. A little slice of lemon for the side. Then mix up your dressing really good. Try to get the vinegar as separated as you can. bit. A little drizzle, you don't need a lot. High calories, olive oil, you know. Watch those calories. Then I took the pita bread and tore it in half and then just put that kind of on the side. It's really nice to have a little warm bread with this dish. Just put it wherever you think it should go. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Mediterranean bowls were actually in Washington, D.C. Yeah, some Mediterranean place. Yeah. Like ro roti or ro I, don't, I can't. I think it's roti. State. I think it's like a chain, but I don't. We don't have any in Minnesota. Nope. So um, yeah, we yeah, were in yeah. D.C. for a weekend getaway, and we saw this place on our map, and we we're like, let's try it. So um, that was kind of our first inspiration, and then of course we went to Greece. We had to go and get olives and drinks. Euro, sweet. Good euros, so it's like this kind of bread, and then um, chicken euros yeah. or pork or something. I don't know, they were really good. Yeah. And then we, that, so the first spot when we were on in Greece, we went to four different islands. The first one we had was Corfu, and that's where we had, we sat down and had drinks. It had just some olives. Olives, oh. olives and olive oil. It was so good. And a beer. And a beer, mm -hmm. yeah, and I don't even remember what I had. You had a soda. I just had soda, so. Soda and pop. Yeah, soda or pop. What do you guys say? Let's see this. Pop or soda? Minnesota would say pop. He always makes fun of me. <laughs> and then yeah, when we were in Mykonos, um, it's when we had the gyros and stuff. So, oh, Greek food was so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the olives. The olives mm -hmm. are awesome. Mm -hmm. well, okay. Wild rice is different in this, but mm -hmm. good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, we didn't have any quinoa left. So we just made wild rice, so we had some of that left. It works! It's it always, good. Yeah, it is really good. Mmm. And feta cheese, you guys. Like, 
Just like give me all the cheese and all. It's like, how would you? <laughs> I don't know, it's so good. Mm. So yeah, how easy is this dish? It's really easy. Even you could make it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we've been to Santorini, Mykonos, Corfu, and Catalonia. And I bet you guys are going to be totally surprised on what our favorite island was. Cephalonia. Cephalonia. Yeah, yeah, that beat Mykonos and Santorini. It was such a beautiful island. It was so like diverse and so different compared to like Santorini and Mykonos. Don't get me wrong, those islands were beautiful. So much the, crowded too. Yeah, they were just extremely crowded. Over tourism is really happening on those islands and it's it's really sad. You can barely walk. But yeah, Santorini was awfully crowded. Then when we were there, there was like eight ships in port. It was craziness. Like totally crazy. So um, not that it was, it was so beautiful though, like the views were, but it was just there was so many people that like it was really hard to really enjoy it because you could barely like get through and there was lines to like certain viewpoints and stuff so it was craziness. Catalonia was way more chill. A little more spread out. It's mm -hmm. bigger so it's a bigger island. People can spread out. Mm -hmm. I'm kicking myself though. We were with our friends on this cruise and I just wasn't in the mood to vlog this that trip. And so I didn't get any footage and I'm just so mad at myself that I didn't do a vlogging when I was on that trip. We were just having such a good time and that was like such an amazing trip that I just was like taking it all in and I just wanted to like yeah. be in the moment and just like embrace everything. So, pictures. I, yeah, we have tons of pictures, um, but no video. So, huh, that's how it is you guys. Next time. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, we're gonna keep eating our Mediterranean Buddha bowls. So um, if you guys make this recipe, be sure to comment below and let me know what you think. And as always, be sure to give this video a like. It really does help with the analytics, so I appreciate it. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. Hey. So we're heading to Greece today. I love Greece. <laughs> We're going to Greece. Oh, we have to say hi. Oh, hi, yeah. Okay, ready? Oh, did I crack you or something? No, how? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, give her a light. <laughs> <laughs> what? The door's not like, don't try and blow yourself up. That's how you do it. <laughs> wow, it's <was> <laughs>